Welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics. In this module 4 we were discussing on development of lateral surfaces of solids. So far we have solved 12 problems on development. Moving ahead the problem number 13 states that draw the development of frustum of a cone of base diameter 60 mm and top face diameter 30 mm with height 40 mm. The front view of a cone is a triangle and the top view is a circle this you people already know. Now when I draw the frustum frustum means what the cutting plane is parallel to the base or parallel to horizontal plane See, and top face diameter as 30 with height as 40 means what we want a development like this of a cone given like this so this is a given problem this diameter is 60 and this diameter is 30 and this height is also specified as 40 Correct. Now, first let us draw the front and top view of the given problem. So, if we draw the front and top view, you will get two circles in the top view. Correct. So, we will get two circles in the top view. Let us call it this as X and Y. This as VP and HP. Now first let me draw the top view, first let me have a reference line and pick up the center. From this center, first let me draw the base diameter of 60, so radius will be 30, so measure radius as 30, measure the radius as 30 and draw a circle that center draw a circle drawn now you measure the radius of top face top face radius is 15 diameter is 30 that is top face radius is 15 diameter is 30 draw one more circle of for radius 15 from the same center You will get the top face of this frustum of cone. Now project it to get the front view. That is, take the projection vertically upwards. So inner circle is at the top face. And outer circle is at the bottom face. Correct. Now height of this is specified. Height of the frustum is 40 mm. So measure 40 mm height. Fix the axis. So this is the axis. Here we have diameter of 30. Diameter of 30. From there you connect to diameter of 60. So this is the required front and top view of the given problem. So this is the front view and this is the top view of the cone. And this height is known. How much is this height? This height is specified as 40. So let us mark the dimensions. We have the dimensions as at the top face, the diameter is 30. At the top face, the diameter is 30. So this diameter is 30. And at the bottom face, the diameter is 60. At the bottom face, the diameter is 60. This diameter is 60. So this diameter is 60 mm. So this completes the front and top view of the given problem. Now for cone, we have formula for angle of spin. That is 
the formula for angle suspended at the center to obtain the frustum is calculated by using the formula theta is equal to L by R into 360 where L is the height of the slant generator. So for that I want the space to obtain the slant generator. Let me write formula separately. That is the most important formula to be remembered is formula for development of a cone theta is given by base radius into length of the slant generator into 360 degrees where r is the base diameter r is the base diameter l is the length of slant generator slant generator now identify the length of slant generator by extending on either sides to the axis extend the axis on either side and find the length of the slant generator so let me extend this to cut the axis here also i'll extend to cut the axis extending on either side you'll get the length of slant generator so now if i measure the length of slant generator l if i measure the length of slant generator l it is measuring as 85 mm i am getting it as 85 mm so slant generator length is 85 this is l which is equal to l so we have found the slant generator height this is o1 dash this is o dash also you find how much is the length of the cutting plane from the apex distance of the cutting plane from the apex on this slant generator so find out this length also which is necessary for us which is found to be 42 mm for me it is 42 so this is found to be 42 mm this is found to be 42 mm now calculate how much is the angle angle will be how much so theta is equal to radius of base circle base diameter is base radius not diameter radius of base circle radius of base so base radius will be 30 so base radius will be 30 mm because base diameter is 60 base radius will be 30 divided by length is 85 into 360 so that will that will gives us the required angle theta and the theta is turning out to be base radius is 30 slant height is 85 into 360 degree which is turning out to be 127 degrees mm. 127 degrees now draw an arc for now draw an arc for radius 85 mm for an angle of 127 degrees measure radius of 85 measured also first let us draw a line for that let me fix a line for that 
radius of 85 and also measure 42 42 on that line this is 42 and this is 85 and measure angle measure the angle angle is to be 127 so measuring the angle 127 127 is measured Again, you draw a line of 85 Now connect these two using compass Now connect these two using compass Now we have at 42 draw one more arc so this is the required development of cone first time of cone so this is the development so this portion is retained and this portion is removed and the angle subtended at the center is 127 degrees this is how we should solve development of first term of cone. So this looks smaller because I solved it for 1 is to 1 scale. This I solved for 2 is to 1 scale. So this is the solution for problem number 13. That's all from this lecture. Thank you all.